Many ask, why is God allowing all of this to happen? The truth is, everything that's been happening in the four corners of the earth was already prophesied in the Bible. This is the inevitable fulfillment of Scripture. These are the signs that precede the return of the Lord Jesus. God has always allowed humanity to go through difficult times. But the question is, why? We need to remember that when everything is going well, when the wind is at our back, our tendency is to relax and rely on our own strength. Many imagine that they are self-sufficient. They forget about God and even deride Him. But moments like these show us that we are nothing. In the blink of an eye, an invisible enemy can appear to take the lives of thousands with no regard for social class, race, or status. Where are the powerful ones now? Their money and power can do nothing to stop this virus from spreading. In times like this, we see just how fragile and insignificant we really are. Only in times like these do we stop to reflect and bow before the one true God. It's only in the storms of life, in the toughest of times, when people humble themselves before the Most High and seek His help. The writer of Psalms says, My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Going through deserts teaches us much more than the comfort of green pastures. How many people have given up on praying but have now started to pray again? How many have been spiritually lazy but are now being shaken awake to restore the relationship with God? How many had drifted away but have come back to God in this crisis? God doesn't always change our situation, but He uses the situation to change us. God is using this time to test the faith of those who serve Him. Many are discovering that they spent their entire lives building their houses on the sand. Now that supernatural faith is needed, they've collapsed after years of not practicing what they were taught. One thing is certain. Whoever builds their lives on the rock will go through storms, yet remain unshaken. Storms come to everyone, but only those who hear and practice the word remain. God won't keep us from being thrown into a lion's den but he'll close the mouths of the lions. God won't keep us from being thrown into a fiery furnace, but he'll ensure that not even a single hair of our head is burned. Let's have this faith as we go through these times, and in the end, we'll come out stronger.